<sighs> hey guys, I have a freaking long day today, man. I'm heading to Chandigarh, and uh, before we go to Chandigarh, you know, you know, where there's also a puja at home today, so I have to attend that puja. It's more of a havan for about uh, 45 minutes. You know how havans are; they take about good 45 minutes to one hour. But hey, you know, it's purity, so I'm all game for it. And guess what, man? There's so much of packing that needs to be done. It's not even funny, man. So much of stuff. <sighs> Look at it, man. I'm just see. Can you see it? See that? Uh, I haven't packed anything yet. I have to take my laptops. I have to take my friggin' gym bag. I have to. And you know, it's going to be like a two-three day trip. You know, because. Uh, I want to capture everything in Chandigarh. You know, just that. You know, I want to. I like that place actually. You know, so you know, all right from working out and you know how the fitness culture in Chandigarh is and stuff like that. I just want to kind of experience it and see how that goes. So that's more of a vacation for me, isn't it? Cool. So I'll keep you posted, guys. Another one. Check out the tikka, guys. Yeah, the puja is over. Just resting for about 15-20 minutes, you know, and I have to pack, guys. You know, Chandigarh, here I come. So I didn't work out in the morning. Actually, I I went there in about for half an hour, 45 minutes, and I did some quick uh, high-intensity training. Pretty much every. Uh, body part that i could think of you know and i would tell you you know in this video i'll be talking more about how you can actually stay fit on the go you know when you are lured with all the other food options and how you can actually uh, resist and then stay lean you know usually what happens is that you know when you travel there's too much of uh, food that we get exposed to and uh, we tend to give in so in this video i'll be telling you how not to Kill in, guys. So, hang in there, guys. Hang in. Tika. Guys, the journey has started. So we have started from Delhi. We are now heading towards Chandigarh. I always prefer road trips, and you know, because road trips are much more fun. I don't really like to go, you know, in Chhatrapati or train. It's just that you know, because you don't have that, you know, legacy of stopping by whenever you want to. So this is more like you know your wish. You know you're you're in command. You're you're on the driver's seat. You know stop wherever you want to, do whatever you want to do. And guys, also remember whenever you travel, carry stuff, load of water with you, man. Because you know you don't want to be dependent on anything else. So just look back. To see the stuff. Yeah, that's it. So all the stuff that you're seeing here. You know, we carry it. You know, we really don't. Can, we're not dependent on anyone that you know. We have to stop by and and eat anywhere else. So just you know, you know do whatever you want to do, man. And you know, obviously there are very interesting dhabas our way. You know, uh, uh, Delhi Chandigarh Highway has some very interesting dhabas. You know, uh, I'm going to be telling you how to resist those dhabas. Though you know, my wife will be eating stuff. I'll be sharing with you what she is eating because she eats pretty much everything and still gets away with it. Uh, whereas me on that uh, front, we, I kind of put on a lot of weight with that food. So yes, guys. So um, just probably in a couple of hours we'll be in uh, Murthal, and that's where you know you'll see all the. Food, the junk, and everything—the parathas. So I shall see you there. Guys, this is like the speciality of Delhi Punjab Highway. I always stop by and have this called called chelli. This baby sweet corn. You know, uh, they, it's so sweet that you know it can even give sugar a run for its money, and it's damn healthy. I know, you know, but it's afternoon. You know, and uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> this kind of food. You know, obviously, uh, it's natural, organic. You know, and most of it that I really, really enjoy about this is this is fresh. You know, and especially when you're on a highway, you're driving down, you really, you know, don't want to kind of get into a mode wherein you know you have no other option but to eat junk. So this is what can keep you going. You know, a healthy eating option on the go. Sweet corn, fresh and healthy. It's 
called Challi in Hindi. Guys, you, know, you gotta learn to enjoy the trip, man. You know, it's like, you know, I always find people, you know, they take their jobs very, you know, as if you know, it's like they really have to do a lot. You know, it's a struggle. And I always tell you guys, unless and until you love what you do, you will not enjoy life. Like for example, you know, uh, I'm going there. You know, uh, like I treat every trip of mine as a vacation. I, you know, obviously I, I try to make it fun and capture it via these vlogs, so that you know you also get a glimpse of it. You know, life is too short, man. And you know, uh, and fitness is just one part of it. Because, and this is what fitness actually teaches you to take things easy, man. Don't just take everything too hard. Like for example, this road. It's a beautiful road. Just have a look. See. You know, and Delhi Chandigarh Highway. It's beautiful. It's it's very well connected. And you know, you can just probably drive around. There's so many interesting dhabas. That's different that we're not going to be eating in those dhabas. But I'm going to show you uh, what you can have on those dhabas. And by the way, it's not highway on my plate, so I'm just going to show you some stuff. So, point is. Whatever you do, guys, you know, enjoy that, you know, and you know, even if you're enjoying this, even if you're taking this small challi butta, whatever, enjoy it, you know, because you know, the way, the, the reason why I'm doing this is to kind of give you a glimpse, you know, a life, you know, probably into a lot into my life, you know, what, what exactly it is. It's not a high fi life. It's just very simple, you know, uh, things that you can do to stay fit, you know, and what you see is what you get. My wife is the one who actually shoots my videos, so obviously wherever I go, you know, uh, uh, she comes with me. It's about me spending quality time together. And guys, this is the biggest myth in India that you know, marriage, you know, makes you put on weight. You know, if you were to see me or see my wife, I think you know we both love what we do. You know, and uh, it's and we haven't put on weight. You know, it's when you enjoy each other's company. You know, and you know, usually people give you this uh, uh, crap. Oh, you know, up to up ki shadi ho gayi, you're married now. What about kids? Yeah, wo. You know, you only do kids when you want to do kids. Yeah, you know, there is no pressure, nothing. Just live life the way you want to. You know, go out together, spend some quality time together. And guys, remember one more thing that I'm going to share with you: respect your wife's parents, respect her relatives, and she's going to respect you even more. You know, uh, because what I've seen is that you know, I get a lot of questions from people saying that you know my man, you know my my spouse, you know he or she he doesn't allow me to work out because they feel you know if I if I get fitter, you know my options, you know people will start checking me out more, my options will get larger. Man, this is all piece of crap, yeah. You know I feel. You know, uh, you should both, you know, sign up for a fitness lifestyle. And if I'm into fitness, you know, obviously, you know, uh, my wife supports it, and then, you know, obviously, she's she's also now into fitness. And you know, whatever she does, you know, I don't push her to go to the gym. I don't push her to do anything what she wants to do. She does whatever she wants to do, uh, so long she's happy doing what she's doing. So similarly, guys, you know, if you're you're a youngster, uh, uh, somebody who's trying to. You know, in his teens or somebody you know who's in his early twenties looking out to get married, find a girl or find a guy you know who supports you. You know who's not, you know who doesn't try to change you. You know, especially in Indian mindset is such that you know marriage is perceived to be the end of everything. Oh, ab to shadi hogi chodo. Now you're married. That's why you see so many unfit couples. Yeah. So you know that's exactly what we are trying to do. Both me and Nithi, Nithi is my wife's name. We're trying to change that about uh, uh, Indian marriage. It's about having fun. Both of us traveling together, having fun together. You know, eating out and obviously finding out healthier eating options on the go. Like for example, we are on the go, and uh, you know, uh, it's about just you know, spending that same quality time together, right? I'll keep you posted. This is what she is having. Look at that. Paratha mix paratha with what is that? Butter. Butter. Loads of butter. Loads of butter. Okay. And pickle and achar. Now this is what you should not eat, but you know because she is eating it. 
So I'm just going to give her some company and just probably take a bite or two. That's about it. But I don't know, guys, what has happened to this place called Ambrik Sute Thaba here? You know, they used to be really good, like if you see them. You know, but I don't know, man. They just lost the plot here. Yeah. It's just the food's not the same. The quality has taken a back seat. So really disappointed, man, with the food. I'm having a chai. This is like no sugar chai. You know, and this is good fun having this chai when you are on the go. You know, kadak chai. But this again, man. This is, I don't know what has happened, man. The food quality, everything, just so different. It's not the same, yeah. Anyways, let's see what she's doing. <laughs> hmm. She is actually pounding the paratha. <laughs> she's least bothered about anything else. Yeah, she's just showing me, see what I'm eating. Mm -hmm. Let her eat what she wants to eat and I'll enjoy my chai. Okay.